Hi everyone, Archmajos Ferriston here and today I'm going to show you the more or less easy way to defeat Mulder, the fourth boss. So you'll need three of the eggs which I just showed you. Uh, you find the eggs up in the mountains, they're usually in a nest guarded by ice drakes. And to get the location of Mulder you'll need to find the, you can see it here on my map, you'll need to find up in the mountains these sort of castle looking things uh, usually they have skeletons and there you'll find a red symbol if you press it it will show you where to find Mulder so as you can see I had to sail a long way um, really long way from my base so make sure you've got a good ship uh, enough food and weapons and tools because we're in for quite a ride and You'll start from scratch basically. So here you can see I found Mulder. I've also found a wood cabin that's sort of half falling apart. I've decided to fix it up. Uh, here you can see I've turned it into a nice little cabin and put a portal there. So that is a very important point. You want to build that portal so you can warp back to your base quickly. And now I'm going to run down this mountain and pick up one of the eggs. Now the eggs are very heavy. They weigh uh, 200 units so you won't be able to carry much more than that and that's why I've put them in my ship. Okay, now I've come back to my ship and let's pick up one of the eggs. There we go. Now we've got to run back up the mountain and put it in our base. So here we go. The mountain uh, cliff is not as steep as it may look. It is possible to run up there. Um, you will find these paths. And what you can do is also using your pickaxe, you can sort of dig away into the side of the mountain and make a little place where you can hold on and recharge your energy. And then once your stamina has come back, you can then go on to the next piece. Okay, so once you've got all three eggs, you need to place them here and then summon Mulder. But before you do that, I need to show you something. Okay, so the trick to defeating Mulder is being prepared. And the first thing you want to do is dig underneath and around this platform because you're going to hide underneath the platform. You will be safe from attack and you'll be able to shoot your arrows at Mulder without any problems. So highly recommend to prepare the platform before you do anything. Okay, now we've got our three eggs, we've had our food, we've got well over 200 arrows and make sure you bring two bows because one of the bows will break so make sure you bring two bows and we make the sacrifice and here she comes all right let's get ready there she is okay so motor is weak to fire damage 
Uh, I found that fire arrows, but also poison arrows work really well against her. Uh, so you want to have at least 200 arrows and at least two bows. So it depends on how good your archery skill is. Uh, I needed one and a half bows, but again, it really depends on how much you've upgraded it and so on. Uh, I did also use some melee attacks and I'll show you that in just a minute, but you really just want to get inside this tunnel that you created. Uh, you're safe from almost all attacks and you can just see she can't get to you and you can just sit there and shoot your arrows at her. She has three different types of attacks. So one is the ice attack and that does quite a lot of damage. The other one is a scream where she basically screams in a single direction and a sweeping melee attack with her claws. So all three do quite a lot of damage, but if you're down in this tunnel, you'll be completely safe. So here you can see the ice attack uh, leaves these ice crystals lying everywhere. And if you're quick, like I was not here, <laughs> I got hit, uh, you can see it does quite a lot of damage. But this here is exactly what I'm talking about. You can see that Mulder is not able to get to us She's confused and just sits there and you can keep shooting arrow after arrow into her. And eventually she'll fly off, but you just basically rinse and repeat. Now I mentioned melee, so you can see Melder is stuck here. So I run in and using my sword, I've tried to do a bit of damage. That also gives my bow a bit of a break. Like I said, the bows will break eventually. And you can see we're both stuck here and I'm desperately hoping that I can just run away because otherwise I'll be killed with one of the melee shots. Um, just hacking away and yes, managed to get out of there and run back into the tunnel. So I do recommend trying to use melee attacks if possible and then switch back to the bow. Okay, so after about 15 to 20 minutes of fighting Melder, you should have her down to the last bars of health. Again, just focusing on uh, fire and poison arrows. They're both pretty effective against her and will slowly wear her down over time. So you can see we've almost defeated her. Oh, and she's flown off. Okay, she's coming back. Just hide from the ice attack. And one thing you really want to do is bring some energy uh, or stamina, I should say, potions, uh, because that's one thing that you will run out of very quickly, firing all these arrows, is stamina. So nearly got Mulder down to the last bar of health. One or two more arrows, and there we go. Mulder is in tears. <laughs> So you should get 10 of these motors tiers and the trophy. So you'll need the tiers in order to build the artisan table and that will enable you a little bit later on to process the black metal into black metal bars and build the next tier of weapons. All right, so let's now bring the trophy back and see what power we get. All right, we're back where we started the game. So let's hang up the trophy and see what special power we'll get. Always have a tailwind while sailing. Hmm, not the best. I think I prefer the one from Bone Mass, but that's what you need to do in order to defeat Mulder. Thanks everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.